Uh, we came in this locality and mobilized the parents. After mobilizing the parents, we asked them to bring to to, to organize their their young people, basically who are not employed, who are not going to school, and that's how we came to get all these youth. We have uh, benefited a lot because we've got the skills uh, in uh, in Pigare because we do. Um, IMO Pigare project whereby we manufacture our own chemicals which we, we, we use in managing the, the bad odor in uh, pigs which discourages a lot of youth. We have a group of 50 youths, boys and girls mixed. Some of them are school dropouts and some of them are still going, 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 going to, to school. We get them in during the holidays. They put in their own effort, they put in their little money because in, initially they saved for, for the development of these projects. After their savings, we also topped up as Children Safe Uganda, an organization which came in to give them empowerment initially. To collect some money, we bought the local pigs. We bought six of them. We keep them for the all of last year because they take long to grow. This year we sold them off, we bought those exotic breeds you saw there. Right now, all of them, they are pregnant. So we have also trained more youth because we are not here only. We have uh, more five centers in the different villages. The lottery came in last year and they empowered us with cash through the program Vijana Power and they gave us nine millions which we invested in these youths together with their parents. Lottery when came in, they gave us the money because we have started already with the pigs, we decided to put that money on poultry and some of it on beekeeping, the bee project. <laughs> 